Alright, what's going on guys? My name's Chopper. Today we're going to be talking about that one cypher that everybody's seen in Zetsubo no Shima. It's that one cypher that's right in the spawn, right underwater. It's pretty easy to find. I'm sure if you loaded up that map, it's not too hard to find it on. Pretty much everybody has seen it, but it has been decoded, and I'm going to give you guys the entire cypher and the explanation in just a second. So before we before we do this, try to hit 20 likes on this video if we can. That would be absolutely amazing. Thank you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into this now. The actual reading of this cypher goes as follows. Urgent Telegram. We have just received word that the private plane carrying the expedition crew encountered freak atmospheric event which caused it to crash killing all on board including the famous explorers Brock and Gary. This comes weeks after owner announcement about finding the location of Shangri-La. Now if you don't know who I'm talking about, these are actually the people that you end up saving in Shangri-La when you're doing the Easter egg. Now you don't actually get to see them in game, you don't get to physically see their character model, but you hear them. They talk to you through the wall, they tell you what to do, and everything like that. Like basically you have to keep going back in time to reset, like because they'll die by something else. So you have to kind of avoid that trap, and you have to you know keep going through a chain of traps until they finally make it out. So Brock, apparently right here, says he's an explorer who found Shangri-La along with Gary who works for him. He was trying to prove the existence of Agartha. Brock recognizes that the temple wasn't made by an ancient civilization, but was built by people of modern era. After finding the altar holding the focusing stone, Brock attempted to remove it, only to be teleported along with Gary back to the very beginning where they found the temple. Thus, they're put into an infinite time loop. So basically, that's just describing the entire Shangri-La Easter egg. They try to remove the focusing stone and just kind of, you know, reset them back to where they started. And that's how you save them in the Easter egg is getting them out. So what this sounds like it's telling us is that after you help Brock and Gary escape, they never made it back. It sounds like they were later killed by this atmospheric event. Now what could that possibly be? And I have a couple theories on this. So what I think may have happened was not just some atmospheric freak accident event, right? There's always a reason for something in zombies. So what I think might have happened is that taking something out of that temple with them maybe brought bad luck on them or brought something with them that caused that atmospheric event. That didn't, that, whatever happened to them, whatever made that plane crash was no accident. It says this is reported weeks after them finding the location of Shangri-La. So obviously, you know, they have reported it and they're probably on their way back. They're taking the private plane on the way back to wherever they live. And then somehow, some way, for whatever reason, their plane ends up crashing. Probably not, most likely not by some just natural or just accident event. It was something that they probably triggered in getting out of that temple and messing with the focusing stone and everything like that. So I thought this was super, super interesting. And it tells us some stuff back in Shangri-La, kind of what happened to Brock and Gary, because that was probably one of the most interesting, you know, Easter egg story quest lines that I've ever played was the Shangri-La one. Shangri-La, man, that Easter egg was amazing, and I just always want to know what happened to Brock and Gary. And we did get, I guess, a message, not directly from them, but talking about them. So I thought this was kind of cool. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be covering more ciphers as well. There's much more in Zetsubo no Shima to come. Got a, a lot more to cover, so make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you all for watching the video, and I will catch you guys on the next one.